as nearly 9,000 classic cars and trucks strut their stuff along Highway 90. It's easy to see how cruising the coast has become Mississippi's biggest event. With all this abundance of automotive talent, it takes something special to stand out. Best in the show. Best, best, oh, best on. one I've seen so far. I appreciate it. Thank Sweet. you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. This first generation Bronco captures the eye, but it's this remarkable family that will capture your heart. For 16 year old Reese Williams, it is a true love affair with all things cars. Oh, the, the smile on his face, it lights him up. You see, the kids play, can't play, can't do anything. That made him happy. The cause makes him happy. His dad may be driving, but this is Reese's Ford. Whose Bronco is that? The 77 Ford Bronco, which is the last year of this body style. Uh, it took me about a year and a half to build it. And when we built it, we built it for him, pushed the back seat further up for the wheelchair, put air conditioning and all the amenities. And he absolutely loves it. It was love at first drive. The first time he actually rode in it, he was happy as can be. The smile on his face and he was so boisterous. He was so happy. Anytime we went off in it, he was happy. He just smiles when the cars crank up. He points at himself. He doesn't talk, but he'll communicate. Which you want to go in a Mustang or a Bronco? He's going to point at the Bronco mostly. People have always been drawn to Reese's joy. Like the time when Jimbo reached out to Cruise in the Coast participant James Steed to do the bodywork and paint on the Bronco. We went there to see him. When he met Reese, he said, I'm, I'm building your Bronco for you. He'd send us pictures of it. He'd put it on his Facebook page. For Reese, for Reese. For Reese, cruising the coast has always been about cars and family. And everyone here is family. For the Williams family, it's the joy they give and the love they receive that make cruising the coast their family event. We pull up, people know Reese. They know Reese. They come pick him up, they hold him. If the band's playing, they'll dance with him. I could have him pushing around a wheelchair and he might catch a bright color car and the people take him out, let him sit in a seat. And yes, I'm talking about 300,000 enough cars. People telling you, go put him in my car. It's so wonderful. All right, rolling, Reese. We'll not miss this for anything in the world. We look forward to it. When this is over, waiting for next year. That's a whole year plans for cruising the coast. It's a family event. You don't have to have, you can have a $300 car to a $300,000 car. It's all the same. You come out here, you bring your kids, you bring your family. It's just a big social event. Melts my heart. It, I've accomplished what I wanted. I want to give him the best life I can give him. And seeing him happy, that's, that's everything. It was two months later, in December of 2019, that we had learned that Reese Williams had peacefully passed away. His parents opened their house and their hearts to talk to us about their son, the boy with the joyful smile. My life and Heather's life revolved around Reese. We have other kids too, and it's the same thing, but Reese, we want to make him happy. We knew his life, we knew he wanted to live a long life. We didn't know how long. But while he was here, we wanted to make him happy. We take him everywhere. We take him to Tennessee with the Bronco. We take him to cruise on the coast with the cars, local car shows. Wherever we went, we took him. And wherever they took Reese, there were lifelong friends to be made. The car community, if it's show cars, race cars, four-wheel driving, whatever, it's a tight-knit family, um, um, outpouring from everywhere. You know, it was um, very heartwarming, I guess a good word to say it. Reese took a mutual love of cars and created an extended family. Oh, he was just, they knew him, he was the happiest little boy you could ever ask for. He didn't know he had a handicap. He didn't know he had a disability. But I feel like having a recent life was a blessing for us. It changed me, it changed Heather, it changed our, our daughters. I, I live a lot through his eyes. It's like, I, I said, I'm not gonna cry anymore. I wanna live like Reese did. I want people to remember me with that infectious smile. I wanna make people laugh. I wanna make people happy. And he did that to so many people. He was a major gift to us. In the lives he's touched, um, it was a blessing to have such a child like him.